Hi Libra. Happy birthday. So it was a really fun beginning of your season and then the sun opposed Chiron and it was like what the hell just happened? <laughs> and um being a Libra rising, I feel this sun opposing Chiron. Chiron is an Aries, just opposite of you. I feel this in ways that I don't even want to admit to myself. Um, and here's the thing. It's like this, because the sun opposing Chiron is um, just bringing those really deep-seated wounds to the surface. So that you can't ignore them anymore and it's really shedding a light on your fear and the, and and I know that this is not something that you wanted to do during your birthday season but here we are um, and you also have to know that everything that's transiting through your sign as it comes through will square Saturn and Pluto at some point some point in time while it's in your sign because your sun is square Capricorn. Your sign is square. That is a harsh relationship. That's a relationship where it's a little bit more difficult to get things going. So right now, as in today, Venus is square Saturn. So you're getting some harsh lessons, and everybody is. Venus squaring Saturn, but it's in your sign. So it's like a little extra dose of reality and Venus is your planet. So when you get an extra dose of reality for something that you're just sure of, and when is a Libra ever really sure, like 100% sure on anything? You've got to be kidding me if you make a decision, but you don't second guess yourself after making that decision. You know, it just is the way that it is. The way that it is. I'm the same way. My son, who's also a Libra rising, one of my three beauties that I have, he's a Libra rising. And he's, he's very similar in that, that he has a hard time making decisions too. He blames me for it, but I'm like, whatever, you can choose to make decisions for yourself. All right, so let's look at the cards. We have the High Priestess, the Fool, the King of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Cups, and Temperance. I do want to remind you guys that your birthday special is now available. There is a link in the description box below to go directly to the birthday special, or you can just go to my website, and it's on the front page. If you just scroll down, you'll see where the um, group is. Also, I'm offering a self-alignment course on October 5th. And it's like perfect time to do that during Libra season because we're all trying to gain balance after Virgo season. But um, this season is all about, for you guys, it's really all about shifting your focus and... Um, looking and allowing yourself to be a little bit more vulnerable. Um, the High Priestess and the Fool, there's something that has been sitting inside of you for quite some time, and there, it's a very quiet voice that keeps telling you that you need to take a chance. Just take a chance. It's okay. You can do it. You know, it's like guiding you to opportunities, and it's guiding you in directions that you were unsure of before, right? But there's this little tiny intuitive voice within that um, it's getting louder and louder and louder. The more quiet you get, High Priestess, the more quiet you are, the more you can hear this intuitive voice. Now you could be dealing with a Pisces, especially since we have the King of Cups over here, or even a Sagittarius, um, or an Aquarius or an Aries. But if this is your energy more than anything, you know that the vulnerability factor right now, like you have to open yourself up to be vulnerable 
because in order for you to take risks in life, in order for you to feel good about the direction that you're going in, you have to be fully open to it. And so now is the time for you to recognize those fears that all this energy is bringing up to you and, you know, suit up and be like, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this. And when I say suit up, you know what I mean? Like get yourself all prepared, you know, talk yourself up, you know, really give yourself that pep talk that you need because you can give yourself that pep talk if you believe, if you truly believe that you can do this. And the only way that you're truly going to believe is if you face the fear. Because usually when we face our fears, like talking to a person or pushing forward on a project or just even allowing ourselves to be present in, a per in another person's life, when we face that fear, usually it turns out that it wasn't even really that big of a deal to begin with. You know, like we were afraid to face this and it, it didn't even turn out bad. Like it wasn't even a big deal. You see what I mean? So, and this could have to do with the King of Cups. Um, and it could have to do with maybe you even, you know, needing to um, walk away from a King of Cups. It could be that you need to walk away from the fear of being vulnerable with a King of Cups. It, it could be that you have, and this King of Cups, first of all, it doesn't have to be a water sign. Second of all, it doesn't have to be a male. It could be a female of your, you know, as well. Um, and it could just be somebody who has a lot of water in their chart. It could be a part of you. And having to get vulnerable and allow yourself to open up because down here, we're basically saying that in order to get balanced out, balance out your heart and your mind, you need to shift the energy. You need to start looking at things in a different way. And part of that is having to walk away from people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. That's what the Eight of Cups is saying. But you're in charge of that Wheel of Fortune shifting, right? We're not in charge of how fast it's going to go. And, and really, we can, actually. We could speed it up if we really wanted to speed it up. But it takes a lot of really deep manifesting, which you will learn in the Self-Alignment Mastery course, Mastering Yourself course that I'm offering. You will learn how to, how to become a master manifester. Because everybody wants to manifest things in life, but they do it from a place of, of lack. They do it from a place of not having it. And you're coming out of this if you really pay attention to the energy and really allow yourself to be vulnerable. And we're gonna start, we're gonna clarify too, but really allow yourself to be vulnerable and pay attention to the energy and allow yourself to be like, this isn't serving me anymore. I can't. Like, I can't do this anymore. It's not serving me. I got to walk away. It's time. It's time for me to be my own person. It's time for me to be my own guide. I have to simply walk away. So let's see what this high priestess is. And when I say suit up, it, you got to get, you got to get yourself clear, right? You got to get yourself grounded. You got to protect your energy. You got to, you know, because when you're vulnerable, when you allow yourself to be vulnerable, you know, so it could be a Leo energy that's not speaking to you, or it could be a Pisces energy that you are helping heal. Um, this could just simply be you getting really quiet and grounded with yourself and gaining clarity you know we have access to clarity all the time there is no limit to our access to clarity but do you know why we don't think we have access to clarity because we don't get quiet enough there's always a distraction there's always something that we have to pay attention to other than what our own inner voice is saying you see and Yeah, and in order to receive love, 
we also have to be vulnerable enough to give it. You have to open yourself up right now. Because I do feel like this King of Cups is somebody that you want to be open and vulnerable with. Or you want to be, um, it's it's somebody that, that you want to offer something to, right? It's something that you like. But for some reason, there's a part of you that's afraid to. It's very, very scary to be 100% open with somebody that you care about because of the fear of losing them or thinking, oh my God, they're going to think that I'm crazy for thinking this, right? But that Knight of Cups on the Fool is saying, you should really go for it. You should really put yourself out there and, and you won't regret, you will never regret putting yourself out there. Even if you get turned down, even if something happens where that person, you know, it says no, right? There's always a chance. There's always that, that risk, right? That's why it's called a risk because there's always that chance of somebody saying no, but then you learned a lesson and you would have regretted. I mean, what if, what if you never reproach this person and they actually like you and they have a fear of approaching you too? You know what I mean? Um, and if this doesn't have to do with love, if this is just you, the sky is the limit is literally what I'm hearing with this three of wands on the king of cups. The three of wands is usually the card of like waiting for your, your ships to come in. Like you've made all your wishes, you've done all your manifesting, now you've just kind of left it up to fate, you've left it up to the universe, you've left it up to the source of God, like God's source, energy, and now you just wait, right? So, um, and, and that's the thing, is you don't have to settle. If you have an idea in mind, if you don't even know what you want, Libra, because I know, again, with the Libra energy, it's very hard to pick and choose. If you don't even know what you want, you don't have to look so far out in, into the future that it's really super confusing. You can look out just far enough and be like, oh yeah, that's it. That's what I want. Right there. That's what I want. And then make that a goal. And then the next step, make a goal. And then the next step, make a goal, right? It doesn't all have to happen all at once. It can be a step-by-step -step process. And once you release it, you manifest it, you set your intentions, you manifest it, which is what we're doing during your Libra New Moon ritual that will happen on Saturday. And if you want to be a part of that and you want to register for your, it's going to be um, a ritual, a meditation, and a Reiki healing session. I totally forgot about that, that your New Moon, it's going to be a manifesting ritual where we're going to release old negative energies and we're going to bring in and attract and manifest new positive vibrations and energies into our life so be very cool if you guys want to register for it that information is also on my website it's under the meditation and reiki healing circles um okay but that's the thing is set your sights on things that are goals that are attainable goals for you um i will caution you on setting a goal that's like so far out into the future or something that's so, I mean, it's like, you're not just going to like come into a million dollars tomorrow. Like, let's not, let, let's, you have to be realistic when you're manifesting things. Unless you pay the, play the lottery constantly and you have a chance of winning a million dollars tomorrow, don't set that as a goal because it's not just going to fall out of the sky. It's not for your highest good, right? For something like that to happen. But once you shift your energy into thinking positively, into thinking um that you do deserve things that you don't have to work so hard that you don't have to like kill yourself to get stuff and be open you can be open and vulnerable to it and that and even in relationships you don't have to work yourself so hard to get relationships if you're working really hard for a relationship and nothing's happening and nothing's happening or it just it's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse oh see what did i just i said that and like all the cards came out. 
If you're working on something and you keep on getting resistance over and over and over again, or you're in a relationship that you're working on and it's just over and over, it's just constant like negativity or sadness or toxicity, that energy shift is going to wipe that right out. My watch like beeped or something. That energy shift with the Wheel of Fortune is going to just be like, you know what? There's the Tower, there's the Five of Cups, there's the Seven of Wands. Some of you are like, I can't believe we just got the Tower during our birthday reading. But shift your perspective. If you're looking at this in a Five of Cups kind of way, where woe is me, everything always happens to me, why is everything always so negative, the universe is there to give to you, to, to gift blessings to you. And the universe always comes through. So if you want to sit in this tower energy being negative, that's what you're going to get back. You're going to get negative energy back and it's going to keep on piling. And pile. The more you sit in a woe is me state and think, oh, crap, right? the harder it will be to shift out of that negativity. And you're getting clarity. And that's the thing is it's okay to mourn what you've lost. But once you mourn what you've lost, it's time for you to move on. And that's where you create healthy boundaries. The reason why you, you, the reason why this tower came along to begin with is there weren't, the boundaries weren't healthy enough. And this can be in work. This can be in relationships. This can be in family anywhere right so i want to i'm curious to see what it is that you are holding on to emotionally with this eight of cups what is it that you're holding on to so tightly oh you have to stop judging yourself that's not your job. Judgment on the Eight of Cups. I feel like this card is saying two different things. That it's time for you. You already know what it is that you have to walk away from. Even as I was saying it, you already know. I, I knew that you already knew what it was. You know, and it's going to be a specific thing in your life that has that's holding you down. And I feel like it's a repeated lesson. And you're almost to the very end of this lesson. And you're just about to learn it. So it's time for you to release and walk away and let things go because temperance, so it could be Sagittarius energy also, but because um, you have a lot of healing to do and in order for you to heal and you also have a lot of manifesting to do and the manifesting and the healing aren't going to come by um, you holding on to what's not serving you, right? You want to manifest from a place of, of hope and balance. You see? Um, and the more you stay in the negative... The more you feel like you have to, to hustle into an energy, the more anxiety you're going to feel. That Knight of Swords and the nine, the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords, and then we have you underneath with justice, right? You can't dwell on what you've lost because the things that fall away out of our life, whether it's through an actual death or whether it's through the death of a relationship, the ending of a relationship, the ending of a friendship, whatever it is, the ending of a job, whatever it is, um, it served its purpose. And when something has served its purpose and it's time to move on, the easiest way to let go and give it to the universe is thank it for existing to begin with. 
Thank you for existing in my life. You taught me some lessons. Thank you for being a part of my healing journey. Whatever you need to do to release, because holding on to the things from the past are only going to make you feel that anxiety even more. And a lot of that is like holding on to the things of the past that um, have accumulated, right? And you're like, I don't even know where to begin to find balance. I don't even know what to do in order to, to find my way through all of this and to get karmic retribution. And I don't want to have to learn this lesson again. How do I heal? How do I heal? Well, you stop fighting with yourself. You stop, don't, um, you got to humble yourself and not fight and argue with yourself on everything. So we have the page of pentacles with the five of wands. Now you could be fighting with an earth sign. For some of you, you could actually be fighting with an earth sign. Um, but I think a lot of you are just sort of trying to make your own way right now and manifesting from a place of humility, gratitude, and being happy in your life, that's going to bring you balance. It doesn't mean that life is perfect. It's not going to be. We're always going to have, we were literally placed on this earth so that we could learn lessons in this lifetime. That's what we decided to do. But we have to remember to do it for ourselves and not for other people. Um, and I do feel like if some of you are manifesting a move, I feel like that's going to happen really soon. This eight of wands and the four of wands when I saw it, um, maybe possibly even during the full moon, um, maybe if it's not the full moon in Aries, then it's, in, it's during the moon cycle. Okay? So... It could be the full moon in Aries. It's like October 13th is the full moon in Aries. But that four of wands and eight of wands, either you're getting communication about your home or something about your home, or you're actually moving or you're planning on moving or, or traveling or something like that. Like it feels, it feels like you guys are moving forward when it comes to your environmental stability. I love you guys. Have a wonderful birthday season. And um, just remember in this energy that um, it's meant to help you grow. It's meant for evolution. And yes, sometimes it's, it's very uncomfortable. And yes, sometimes it can be very painful, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to be the worst, right? Um, just make sure that you're waking up every day and you're protecting your energy. Um, we are doing the meditation and Reiki healing circles every week. Um, again, the Libra New Moon one is posted, and then the one for the following week that's going to go along with the manifestations of the Libra New Moon with self-empowerment, that's posted as well. Um, they're really powerful. We've done two of them so far, and it's amazing and powerful, and I'm getting nothing but positive feedback. So I love it. Um, and if you can, if you can join us, it's even more powerful. The more people, the more powerful our manifestations will be during the new moon phase. So, um, all of that information is on my website, fearlessintuition.net or in the description box below. And, um, just remember that we are in a period of growth and abundance is, is you know, just a couple of steps away. So keep on keeping on. I love you guys. Happy birthday. Bye.